the regular starts. Hit him in my whip, cause I'm nasty. You were talking about a story where there was a beat that, you know, diverged into two different songs and ended up becoming another massive moment for you. Uh, what, what was that song and how did that kind of help change things? Um, shouts out to Bandit Game, Marco. And so I end up signing him. And he had this big record at the time called Nash. Like, it's got a... A cake is like a real, like a bounce. And I'm like, yo, what is bounce? Like, you know, like we bank head bounce in a minute. So I'm like, oh, this, this, this gonna work. And then he's got moments in the song where he's like harmonizing, singing, you know, like hitting the, yeah, you hitting the falsettos of someone, right? So I'm like, oh no, this gonna cut through. So sign the record, shoot the video, put the video, you know what I mean? Um, Shoot the video, get my assets together. I'm down to like literally a thousand dollars to my name. Like my wife has no clue. She probably knows now, but she had no <laughs> clue then. So we're done. Like there's no money left. And so LA over here is like, yo, that's your song. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He was like, look, man, you know I'm at Epic now. Like you know, you, you know, we we trying to because he did the TV show for a minute. Yeah. And so he's like, well, I'm back full time. So like, come to New York tomorrow. We gonna do a deal on this one, like you already know what we about to do, and and because this would have been my that would have been my fourth record with him, you know, um, at that time, and we had success on all the records, so because um, we had success, my my second record I put out was this record called Home Girl, um, by Bone, which is the number one play urban record in the history of Texas radio, and then the third record was Boy Me Down, which is another gold, you know, pretty much I think it's almost a platinum single now, right? That's found some life on TikTok again as a recent. And so this would have been my fourth record with LA. So I was really excited because I'm like, you know, you know, this is this is gonna be a, a another big one. And I needed a big one. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm down to my last. So make a long story short, LA in true LA fashion sends me a ticket, sends car service. I tell Marco, meet me at the condo at uh, uh 8 a.m. Going to New York, life's gonna change, right? Eight thirty goes by, nine o'clock goes by, ten a.m. goes by. He doesn't show up, so now I'm getting nervous. So now I'm on the phone, trying to get the artist. He done blocked my number, can't get, can't reach him. So I'm like, snap. So I'm in the condo, pacing back and forth. My wife gets home from work. She's like, you look like like. You're no longer black. You're pale. Like, you're okay. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was like, Marco ain't responding. We missed the, we missed the, 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 the highway to heaven ticket, right? Because one thing I know for sure, LA going to cut a check, right? I don't, you know, ain't no telling what it, but I know it's going to be a check, right? So I had already count, already spent the money, right? So it's like, so my wife, so I'm panicking. So my wife was like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. She was like, well, the video's shot. I was like, but I can't get the artist. What we going to do? She was like, don't worry about that. Video shot. It's good news. So what you're going to do is, you're going to do what you've done since the day I met you. You're going to get in that. I had a conversion van that I owned through all these runs. You're going to go dust the conversion van off. Suggest you go get a tune-up. And you're going to go from Atlanta to Houston. And you're going to work that record. I get to Houston, shouts out to my, 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 my big dog, who's one of the biggest DJs in Houston, Hard Body Kiati. He got the record, and he was the first one to like, I love the record. But he was like, man, you know y'all Atlanta dudes, y'all talk too fast. Like, you know, we move slow down here, man. We, um, I'm going to have to do some magic to this one, but just give me a second. So he said, I'm going to call you in three weeks, and I want you to come back. Beats crazy, hooks crazy, he works off of that. So I go back three weeks later, drive all the way back to Houston, and the reaction in the club with the record is crazy. He was like, yo, yeah, he was like, nah, this is gonna work. He was like, but what I gotta do is we're gonna have to get one of the local Houston acts that's buzzing to do a freestyle on the verses. He had just signed this act, this kid by the name of T. Wayne, who was just a young kid dancing, 
kind of doing his thing in Houston, right? Creating a new wave. Like he was that new wave, that young wave in Houston. So he goes into the studio, pulls up the beat, and goes crazy. And he's looking at the video. Let me just tell you how God works. And why sometimes when people quit on you, you can't quit on yourself, right? I released the video just on a random YouTube page that I made. And so at the time, I had just bought the brand new Porsche Panamera. So Marco gets out of my car and then goes into the video. So T. Wayne, so that's why you first let me out, out uh -huh. the Porsche. I don't want her at the... So he's freestyling, literally. That's why I was imagining he's freestyling from what he's seeing. First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I don't want her if that ass don't sit like a horse. So I hit Kiati. I'm like, bro, is it, is it another version of the record? He was like, yeah, you ain't, I thought you knew. He was like, nah, man, I, I don't know. He was like, yeah, man, um, um, it's his kid, T. Wayne. He, I, um, he performed at the high school. Um, I'm a, when I get with him, I'm going to call you with him on the phone. So, Kiati basically brokers the whole situation. And it's like, look, City, my man, Cheddar, my man, T. Wayne, my kid. And, like, it just came together like magic. Like, we had already started talking. Like, this is the, the grace of God. We had already started talking, figuring out how we were going to all come together, right? Because I own the beat and the song, and, you know, he owned the lyrics. So, in, 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 in theory, it seems like a real easy mathematical equation until a ninth grader, 15-year-old girl by the name of Kylie Jenner puts it on a Snapchat. And then the record sells half a million copies in two weeks. Goes gold in two weeks. Like, like, yeah. It's, well, it's crazy because I, you know, I, I haven't heard too many stories where the same beat, like it was already bubbling. In Atlanta. And, and, yeah. Huge record in Atlanta. For like, year, like the record's like a year and some change old in Atlanta with the kids. Like, this was the first Atlanta record since Swag Surfing that the kids, like, if you play yeah. the record now for a kid under 25, they know every word, line for line, word for word. Like, it was, like, that yeah. massive with kid culture in Atlanta. So, it was probably one of the biggest, and, I'm, and when I say biggest culture, I'm talking about, like, where the kids was like, nah, 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 nah. y'all old people ain't touching this. Yeah. Like, this is our record. Band of Game Marco is ours. Nasty is our song. Yeah. And then T. Wayne went and did the same thing in yeah, Houston. Yeah. So it's one of the only, and I, I, and I know this has, been, this has been for a while, it's one of the only music IPs in the history of music to ever go top 10 of the same master recording sound. For elementary terms, for my good people who may not be a uh, as savvy in music contract litigation as I am, because I've been forced to be over all these years. What that essentially means is it's the it's one of the only songs in the history of music where the same song appears top ten on the charts twice. 